Welcome to Yeshiva Dash, your sponsor, Lunish Masam Yaku Shom, we have a Sitzchok, and we're holding Boabas from Daf Pezan. Just before we go into the Mishnah, we're holding just to mention that the Gemara says over here in the last line that when someone is toilish kosher, who is coin, why is he coin it? So the Rishayim discuss it. Is it Pshat to the one toilish kosher? You're coin it because it's considered to be lechazik vikri. As if you're coining part of the karaka. And you're just coining the, the, the item, the, the, you're not coining the karaka for the karaka. You're coining the karaka for what is on the karaka. But to do the chazaka, or it's a, it's, a, it's a special thing that has to do with the pishta they take it out. So we did mention in the previous year, just what I mentioned, it's a, it's a discussion that we're showing you how exactly the kidney works. So the mission. Hamoicha yayin v'shem and chaveru v'huku oishu huzlu. Someone sells wine or oil to his friend. And then, either increase or decrease the value. Before the measurement where the oil is going into is filled up, the seller, he's the owner, he can change his mind. Once it's filled up, as we're going to learn in the Gemara, this goes back to what we learned in the previous half. Who owns the clay has to be that there's a third party. Because if not, there's a problem we learned in the bride cell that the owner of the clay is the one who's buying it. So we'll see in the Gemara. If there is a third party there, we'll see. If, don't are we talking till now? There's a third party. So then, if the barrel breaks, so the sarsu is the one who's responsible. He he's the one who who needs to take care of it. Says the Gemara. Says the Mishnah. Whenever you have a seller selling a bucket to a buyer, he needs to make sure not only to to empty out the, the contents of the clay, but needs to make sure that there's three drops. And after he empties it out, he pushes on to another three drops coming down from the barrel. Here, Kino meets us once he filled everything up and he allowed the three drops to fall off. Harim Shalom, whatever is left, any left the residue or leftovers, drops that are in the, in the bucket belongs to the cell. The doesn't have to do it. Why? He's busy with a lot of uh, uh, buyers, so Chazal did not uh, make him do it. If it's Ev Shabbos and Chashech Apato, we'll see the more was referring to, he's Pato Ev Shabbos. So the more, how Mida the man? Who owns the Mida? The one who owns it is the buyer. A Chalumi spends a Mida on Lechem before it fills up along to the seller. Mida de Lekech. It's the Mida de And if we say, as we said earlier, the Mida de Lekech should buy it. If it fills up, it belongs to the buyer. Why? It belongs to the seller. Similar to what we said before. As the Shabbat points out, do we want to tell me here that a midah doesn't make a difference? Do you want to say a different machines? We're talking about a midah that belongs to a third party. From the Kitani, say, look at the next part of the mission. If there was a chabit there, and it breaks, it breaks the sarsu. Called the ratio of the sarsu, as came after the ratio, not talking about a sarsu. So the more ratio mid the belief sarsu, same throw with sarsu at. The ratio talks about third party lend the clee to the seller to the buyer, to, to both of them. So we learned in the previous doubt, as the price is said, the seller owns it, he borrows it until it fills up, and then, then it goes to the buyer. But if you have a third party himself being involved, so he's responsible, he's the one doing it. So therefore, if he's he's, he's responsible to pay for it. Says the Gemara quotes the Mishnah, Kino mitzes aru shemoicher. They pour it down, take out the last drop, belongs to the seller. Kesoy ga below zayat kachel the ziri. The seller goes there to Israel, he finds the ziri. Omale mikan tano de atniye rab midus. Who is the one who rab taught him midus? There's another girsa. The Tosis points out over here. Uh, I mean, the, the, the Rosh Bam speaks about it. That um, a, 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 the he brings sorry the. the the Torah brings the Roshbam that says the Atni Rav, the Rav taught him. It brings another gear, so the, the Atni Le Rav, someone taught Rav. So either the one who taught Rav or, or uh, someone who taught, or Rav taught him. So Achvir Ritzu Bardim, Ritzu Bardim, he's the one who discusses Ritzu Bardim, which generation was, there was two Ritzu Bardim. Only Micah Kashuch, what's, what's bothering you? The man, your Kino, who meets us, Rishon Mechim, one seat. It. And he took the last three job, 
drops whatever is left belongs to the cell. Says the Gemara that brings down the base that that the kinu mitzvah is a reason true. It says regarding trumo that even after if a person makes a whole barrel trumo and then he pours the content out and you whatever is left even the residue the leftovers but it's still trumo. See the whole thing becomes trumo even these parts. Why here is different? So on my leg, my low, my vol, we should use buyer no go ball. Buyer says it didn't use the the buyer bought the entire barrel. He owns the whole thing. But he's not waiting for him to rub out the small drops. So he gives up, he gives up hope with it. By Trumo, there's nobody to give up hope. It belongs to Hashem. It doesn't, there's nobody to be siash. So therefore, it's still Trumo. Says the Gemara, Chilvoni, you know, Chav Latif, Chilvoni doesn't have to draw out these three drops. And by the way, and then what Rabbi Yudha said, Erev Shabbos, it's okay. So by the way, Rabbi Yudha, Rabbi Yudha, is talking about the ratio, about the regular guy, that we say that he has to do the drops. He says, Erev Shabbos, you don't have to. Ula kula, it's a kula. Don't have to do it here Shabbos. We do a sefer kaya l'chum. We're talking about the end of the Mishnah. We said the chimvoy doesn't have to do it. It says the biyudo chimvoy does have to do it except in here Shabbos. Toshma the talim find a clear brayso. Biyudo in here Shabbos if chashicho chimvoni potur v'sha chimvoni tov. It says clearly here Shabbos the storm doesn't have to do it. He's busy. Mashu it's a special kula you have in here Shabbos. You don't have it the rest of the year. It says the Mishnah. Hashulech is benoi etzel chimoni. Someone sends his son to a storekeeper, and the pastors you do have the girsu who put yoin biyod. He has a pidyon, gives him a um, coin of a pidyon, which is worth two isar. Umadav will be isar shem. So now he says, okay, I'm going to buy for you isar. What are you going to buy? You buy an isar with an isar, you can buy oil. For the son, he say isar, right? So he was moiti with the isar shem, and he gave him. The, the storekeeper gave back Acer because he gave him Pudyon, which is two Acer. He gave him oil worth Acer and he gave him one Acer back as change. Shabbat is that Slech is what is Acer. The kid broke the, 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 the pitcher that he filled it up in. And he lost the money. Chemoni Chayv. Chemoni is responsible. Why? Because he gave it to somebody who's not responsible. So he's responsible for it. I read the point there. Shalmina Ked Shoch. I read the says, Yepato, because that's why he said the kid to tell the chibon, I'm willing to give it to the kid. Umoidi chachon la biyudu is much atzleich is biyad etinoik umodad chibon la teicha shchibon ipotu. If the tzleich is being held by the child and he filled it in here, then he's potter on the tzleichus. So we'll see in the Gemara why is that so. Um, says the Gemara, Bishu bo beisar v'shemin neisar shem I understand beaplik. Shabbat Zavi lo do shadre. I read the sof of the shud of the shadre. By use of the shemen, I understand what the mechlekes is. The rabbanon say, I don't ask you to send the money and the oil with my son. My son is under age. I just wanted my son to tell you that to send it, to find somebody else to send it with. I read the says no. You send your son. You basically said I'm moichel you. I'm obliged to use my son as the shliach. El shabbat tzleiches avedim midasi. But the tzleiches. What do you mean the tzleiches? The tzleiches. Why is the chibon has to pay? Who took the tzleiches? The son took the tzleiches. One understand. Took the tzleiches from the father's house, and he broke it. What, what do you want from me? Says the chibon. Says the gemara. Oma avishai achol ba'al pais moichet tzlochir saskina. Talk about an owner who is a set. What he this buyer? He sells many many plates, many many jars. Kulon shenoklo chibonni on the nat levako, and the chibon he picked it up because he wanted to go and examine it to say maybe I'm going to buy the jar for myself. Someone who takes a cleave from an umum, from a, a, a craftsman, to check it out to see if he wants to buy it. He's chayav, because once he picks it up, it becomes his. The place over here speaks about discussion. Is it a din of a, why is it chayav? Is it because it becomes a shoyo? It's chayav in shayilo? Or is it because it's considered to be already a purchase? The minute he picked it up, he's, a, he's considered to be a coin. Kamino, Mesa Machas Veloch, for example, we'll see more about it in the next half. But you see that he's crying. So this guy, he says, what happened over here? That the, they picked it up to, to examine it. So shout out to the, 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 the Chemonic preachers or not. So I'm going to lay with the Shmuel Tanoi. So you want to tell me, Shmuel, look at this El Arabah, Vyaz, Dar, Tavai, Yochah, Bechemoni, Moicher, Slechir, Siskian. Opposite. Not that the buyer sells jars. The seller, the the chimvani, the storekeeper selling jars, and therefore what? 
How do you do the time you're born in time? The going, the reading you're born, going in the Tlishitasa. What's Tlishitasa? The what? We talk about here that the seller, the Chinvani, is giving to the buyer, he's giving to the kid, he's giving him oil, he's giving him money, he's giving him his own plate, he's giving him all everything. So when you have him, look at the next part of the mission. Moi, you have a you know, this man shot, so you have a tinoik, if the tinoik, the child, is holding on to the jar. What do you mean? If the if the the we're talking about that the 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 chenvoni is the one selling the jars, who cares that the kid is holding on to the jar? I never agreed to, to, to you should send the jar with the kid. Ella by Barabin, Rafhim, Barabin, our Tavar both said, Oh my skin, we're talking about the Pichas and Dalif. What happened was that he picked up the What does it mean? Look, look at the Rosh Bam. Rosh Bam says, "Kosh not the book. Kolim amastin si noim al abayis. Not the chinvoni. Why did Tzuchiyos Mar? I'm talking about not the buyer, not the seller, or selling jars. Kosh should not the lamud b'toy chashem. He wanted to fill it with oil. The Havla dulo yadas the chinvoni sholcha. Even though he did not send it with the chinvoni, shema lo itleno. We should not take chayav with the rabbo. Meaning he took it for the oil." And even though he did not send for the for the chenvani, chenvani is irresponsible. Why? Domar kedi rabo. Domar rabo ikishon is chayabo. Someone had a hand was chayabin it. So you picked it up. You have it. Right? You you made a pool. One understands right now. You make a pool. You rather be coined in the chayavitz. Even though the rabo by the chayim didn't know your prices. Well, no. By the chayim, you kid it. You make it get used to moving. So now you're responsible for it. Can I give you homework to say you just picked up a kli? You could say to be yours. Hello, my Rob. Ani the Arish of Chavuro Tergemuno. Me and the Arish of Chavuro, we explain it. Who is the Arish of Chavuro? Manu, Rob Zero. We talk about Rob Zero. Ogu may ask him no go chenot lo la mudbo la achemi him. He filled it up not to measure for himself, but to give it to somebody else. The owner never gave him rishus to use it. Who be shoyel shlomidaske of the Torah? I'm coming and using with somebody else. That means I'm borrowing it without permission. When I'm doing a shehilo without permission, am I still a borrower and I give it back? I'm um, potter. Or am I gazdan and I have to go and give back the full amount? So that's the machlekes over here. Look at the Rosh Hashanah. The Rosh says, Tamar Sova, what's the machlekes? Rabbanan gazla avi. The kanlet chaybo at shetavul advay. It's possible to take us to the owner's hand. And why the beginning of Yeshiva says zelo? I show you a tiri of a shavu. You give it to the child like to the biya shavu. You're still responsible. Give it to the child, is that be given back? Here's a show. Once you take it from the place where you borrowed it, you give it back a good. And and uh so now, what's the Hemshel and Mishal? Let's go a few more lines in the Rosh Hashanah. What is Moedim Chachem Labyudo? Hakesh Tafarish. Moedim Chachem Labyudo Echid the Loi Not Lo Amut Malachi. I didn't take it to Mesh Fathers. I feel not to Miyad Latir, even though he's taking it for himself. And the Ketani is not just Flech is Beat Tinoik. Is that it's still in the hands of the Tinoik? What does it mean the Mishal? Still in the hands of the Tinoik? Shalom Matam Bul Tzorich Tinoik. That's that's it. That's it. That's what it is. So in Hila, that's the Pshat of the Mishal. If a person sends. With the, the the father sends with, with a child to the chivoni. The chivoni is not so machlek as the mishta. If the chivoni is supposed to give the child the money and the oil, what about the tzlochis? Talk about the child comes with the tzlochis. The chivoni takes it and uses it for his own things. So if he's a shor, he puts it back. It's done. If he's a gal's done, so it's not done, and he's still responsible for the tzlochis until it comes to the hands of the father. And if it broke in the middle, he's responsible to pay for it. And that's the machlek as we hear regarding tzlochis. Um, and that immediately comes out, there's two machlikas between Rabbi and Rabbi Yudo. One machlikas is between Rabbi and Rabbi Yudo is what is the intention when you send the, uh, when, when you send the money and the and the and the oil. And when he tells them, what are you telling? Send them my son or not? The other question is, the guard shall show me this. Is he a guy or not? So it's two seven machlikas that come together in the same Mishnah. So go on, we'll stop over here, continue from here in the next half.